My worst fear when I started playing guitar, and this lasted for over two decades, was to get on stage in an open jam night. I was terrified. I was terrified of taking a solo because I knew a few licks, but I was really afraid of running out of licks and running out of things to say. And I, I just didn't want to stand there on stage, just kind of like an idiot, faking it all along. And so I, I avoided those. I missed out on so many good opportunities. I don't want that to be you. In this video, we're gonna fix it once and for all. You're gonna learn some new ideas, and most importantly, you're gonna learn how to turn a simple idea into 10,000 ideas that are interesting, that people are gonna wanna hear, so that you never run out of ideas again. My name is David Wallerman. I've been playing and teaching guitar professionally for the last 25 plus years. I love doing it. I always learn new things. My favorite thing in the world is to see the joy in the eyes of a student when he's finally able to fully express himself on the guitar. That's exactly what we're gonna do today. It really all starts with here. It's a mental state. Your mental is going to truly affect whatever you play. If you're feeling stressed, it's gonna come out of your fingers. If you're feeling relaxed, it's also gonna come out. If we can address that, that's naturally gonna help everything else I'm gonna show you here on the instrument. So let's start with that. The thing you need to realize is that when you're jamming with someone else, it's a shared experience. See, playing guitar is not a monologue. You are playing with other people. I'm gonna put in a backing track here and I'll show you what I mean. First things first, don't do anything. Just breathe into the track, listen to it. You're joining a conversation. You wanna ease in. Just a few notes are enough. Just one note is enough. Start playing it right here. That sounded good. It's enough for now, right? The backing track is carrying its thing. complex, right? But it's musical. Doing this allows me to step in, build confidence. I wasn't playing anything very complicated. I just played a few notes here, nothing technical. Anybody could play that, but it worked. And the reason it worked is that, first of all, I didn't play right away. I, I let the backing track kind of establish itself and I approached it like a conversation that I am joining. I didn't start the conversation. Here's the next thing that's interesting. Got the track here. I know what I know. You don't know what I know. In other words, I know some scales. You don't know how many I know. Doesn't matter. I know some licks. I know some techniques. You don't know any of that. And you're not judging me on the things I know. So I can start anywhere. I'm going to play two things. Here's the first one. Here's the next one. Which one do you remember? Probably the second one, right? The reason you remember that one better is that I built it like I would speak it. When you're speaking, there's a lot of breaths, a lot of silences. And the best way to do that on the guitar is to build a phrase and only play the notes as you're breathing out. <sighs> I'm running out of breath, the phrase is too long. It's automatically and very naturally gonna have those breaths built in if you're playing as you are expiring. 
the air. And really quick, since you're watching this video, it means that you are looking for a guitar lesson on YouTube. Maybe you want to get unstuck or maybe you want new ideas. I found that typically players who have been playing for at least a decade who are stuck, it's because of one thing. Now, the problem is that one thing changes from player to player, but there are typically five main things that people get stuck on. And once they address that thing, the progress starts again. That's why I created a free tool that is going to help you know exactly that one thing that is keeping you where you're at, how to fix it, and all of that for free. There's a link below. Enter a few questions, and that'll really fix whatever issue you're facing on the guitar. I promise it's free. Check it out. When an important idea comes to our mind, it's from the spoken word. It's spoken, typically. You're not going to get a, an amazing idea by hearing a robot speak without any kind of punctuation. Hey, this is the secret of life. Today, I'm going to reveal to you how to make a lot of money, and the money is not the secret of life. This is how it, and so forth and so forth. It's really hard. But if I told you, man, the secret of life is to appreciate the small things. Money is not going to, it makes a lot more sense. Same thing musically. I promise this is dumbing down a lot of things, but the listener is really going to engage with you. And not only that, but it also gives you an opportunity to kind of clear your mind so that you can approach that improvisation thing that you're dreading as a pleasant conversation that you're having with a friend. But let's not talk a little bit about theory, a tiny little bit. If you play a note, this one for example, that note, it's an E, but it doesn't really mean anything. Do you feel sadness if I play this? Or happiness? No, you don't feel anything until I play that note against something else. That note becomes something. Happy, sad, excited, whatever it is. But depending on what's behind, that same exact note is going to sound a little different. It's important because you can use that when you're improvised to not run out of ideas. I play the same exact note, and that note turned into a lot of different feelings that conveyed different emotions, depending on what was behind. I've used that so many times in gigs when I was stressed out. Just take one theme, a lick, maybe tweak a little bit, don't clone it, but still the same essence. Trust that the backing track is going to change the meaning of that lick or that theme. Let's give it a try. Backing track is an E. I'm letting things breathe because I'm going to join the conversation. I'm not starting it. Okay. As I'm doing this, internally I'm getting comfortable with the tempo, the feel, and I'll start with a simple theme. That's my opening theme. I'll repeat it. Chords are going to change, but I'm going to play the same thing. It sounded a little different. Don't have to play complex things. Because you have an opportunity to play the same thing and being that thing brought in different light. developing this skill, you're going to, at some point, run into 
what I call a stumbling block. That stumbling block is going to be reflective of the thing that you probably should be working on. It could be something theory, technique, rhythm, creativity. There's going to be one of those things that is going to prevent you to progress a little bit faster. Recognizing what that is, is half of the battle. If you really want to fix it for free, click right here, answer just a few questions, be honest, and I'll tell you exactly how to fix it. It's completely free. This has helped thousands of players. I want to help you so that you can enjoy playing the guitar a lot better. Check this out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the quiz.